Hey filmmaker, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin and this is the Filmmaker's Blog. Frame rates can get a little technical and I'm not gonna swamp you with all the technicalities, but I am gonna tell you everything you need to know about frame rates. Movies, motion pictures, video, whatever you wanna call it, it all comes down to one simple illusion. Video is the succession of individual photos creating a moving picture. Frame rate determines how many photos we see every second. A higher frame rate will have a much smoother picture, while a lower frame rate will have a more jumpy picture. And if you remember the old cartoon days, the old animation days, where they would actually hand draw every single frame, they seemed a little jumpy. And that's because they were operating at a frame rate around 12 to 13 frames per second. Compare that to cinema, where it's a lot smoother, they operate at 24 frames per second. Broadcasting to TVs all around the states became very important, but they couldn't send an entire image. It was too big, so they had to split it up into two parts. One part were the even lines of the image, the pixel lines, and the other part were the odd pixel lines and they sent it over the airwaves and they would put these two parts of the image back together in the television. This process is called interlaced video and it's marked with an I after the frame rate. So 50I or 60I shows that it's interlaced. Now honestly, interlaced is not the best way to film. As you can imagine, if you split your frame into two parts and then put it back together, there's a higher chance to have video artifacts or any sort of glitch. The better way to film, especially for filmmakers and anyone that's doing web videos, is to use progressive. Progressive scans, records, or transmits the entire frame at one time. So progressive scans the whole frame at once, while interlaced is half and half. Now we need to talk about frame rate standards. And like always, there's some committee out there that needs to standardize this stuff. And like always, it's not universal. So the first one we're gonna talk about is NTSC. NTSC covers these territories and created the standards of 30p60i. The second is PAL. PAL covers these territories and their standards are 25p and 50i. So the most common NTSC frame rates are 24p, 30p, and 60i. Now there's higher frame rates like 60p and 120p, but you wouldn't really shoot those in real time. You would use that for more slow motion effects. And we can talk about how to do that in another video. Now this is where it may get a little confusing. With NTSC, what we call 24p is really 23.97p. And what we call 30p is really 29.97p. So these are the numerically correct values. When deciding what frame rate you should film at, it's actually quite simple. First off, you probably shouldn't use interlaced because it's not as good, so that's already off the table. Secondly, if you're trying to make something look filmic or cinematic, then you'd want to shoot at 23.97. If you're shooting anything else like corporate, live event, you probably want to shoot 29.97. At the end of the day, you shoot at the frame rate you think is best for the product that you're filming. Now what if you're using PAL? PAL is a little bit simpler because 25 frames per second actually means 25 frames per second. There's nothing fancy you have to do there. And when you're deciding which frame rate to shoot at, you're not gonna shoot interlaced, so that leaves you with one option, which is 25 frames a second. The only time you wanna shoot 24 frames, like a true 24 frames, is if you're going to convert your digital video onto film. Now, we're probably not going to do that, so don't even worry about it. Now you know all the basics of frame rate. Before you click off, there are some free filmmaking tools in the description of this video, like free lighting diagrams and more. So if you're interested, make sure to check those out. Links are in the description. As always, make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when my next video drops, even though you already know it's every Friday.